you see this guy walking and all of a sudden a chicken bursts through his fucking chest what yeah it's fucking because oh, they're experimenting on them and that's stuff, hilarious so. okay it's odd that sounds over the yeah. top that sounds actually like yeah a funny so story. i mean that's what i've been what's going on everybody welcome back to rest stop rambles i am zach I am Tyler. And we are your gracious host today, where we are going to talk about, well, ramble of a bunch of shit. <laughs> um, we don't really have a topic this week, but we will see what we're going to talk about. Uh, I know Tyler wants to talk about a little bit of the Apple AI stuff that they just announced. Let's just talk about AI in general. Yeah. That's a very prominent thing. And even as of this recording, not when it actually gets posted, Apple did have their, um, their software, I guess, event. Yeah. And one of the things that they were, that's a huge highlight that was, they talked a lot about was there's going to be a lot of chat, chat GBT integration that, with Siri. Yeah. Uh, Siri's getting like an overhaul. Mm -hmm. um, can't remember, or Apple Intelligence is what they were calling it. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And even thinking about what we wanted to talk about for this episode, I was like, let's just ramble like we usually do. It's yeah. like, that's why we originally started this whole exactly. podcast was to just kind of see what happens mm -hmm. and pops up but i thought we could talk about that it's yeah and then you also want to talk about uh, the top five favorite shows growing up i also want to talk about the xbox game showcase because they yes, showed i do really actually want to talk to you a lot about that yeah. i have a little bit of mashing of yeah so and of course this is rest stop rambles we are into the geek verse podcast feed where we talk everything uh geeky stuff movies tv games whatever you're a geek for you can be a geek for anything you can be a geek for um, you can be a geek for food. You can yeah, be a yeah. geek for comic books. I mean, books. It does not matter. You can be but, whatever you want. But uh, Tyler, how we like to start this off is just asking, "How have you been?" It's been a month since we last recorded. Yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. Yeah. Anything uh, new happen in your life? Anything crazy? I know we went to a wedding. I think. Yeah, we went to the wedding. Yeah, we went to Curse right up. after. Yeah. It was a good time. I liked it. Pine Top. I love going up north and everything like that. So absolutely. Um, if I mean. Pine Top's huge now compared mm -hmm. to what it was. I was going to say, if anybody's listening to this and has not been to Pine Top, I'm sure no one's going to enjoy the yeah. fact that more people go there. But definitely a place to uh, check out. It's beautiful. It is. It's one of my favorite places in Arizona. Yeah. Like, when it comes to the forest. I'd much rather go to Pine Top than like Flagstaff yeah, or Payson. There's just a lot of Payson's weird people awesome that live up there. And I say weird because when I was gassing up, a lot of people with money too. It's yeah, but still a Very lot expensive. of weird people. I was gassing up, oh, okay, no, no, at no. like a, I don't fucking know the blue one, uh, the Shell. Okay. I think there's a. Is that no, a, that, no, that's just no. You, what's the you blue must one? Must be thinking Chevron. Chevron, yeah, there it is. I always think of Dynaco from Cars, like because uh, that that's what goes to my head instantly when I think of like. Uh, wait, am I thinking that right? Chevron? No, that, I don't. <laughs> I don't fucking know, but I'm remember. gassing up, and this man walks over to me. And he works there. His name tags upside down. Oh. And he picks up something off the floor. And it's okay. a half-eaten sandwich. And asks if I would like to share it with him. Are you serious? Yes. And I look at him and I'm like, no, I'm good, man. He goes, well, that's a waste of food. Why'd you leave it on the floor? I'm like, I, I didn't. I just pulled up and I just want to gas up. He takes a bite out of it. He took a fucking bite out of it. This actually happened. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, you we, can ask my wife. I'm like, I, I don't get weird shit like this happening to me. All the Dude, time. I, and no, and then I watch, like, I'm I kind of jealous. Him. He walked off and he goes, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't, <laughs> I'm just like, no, I don't want to <laughs> eat a sandwich with you. Like, I don't know if he thought I threw it on the floor or something like that. Maybe he did. But it's the fact that he took a bite out of a sandwich that was literally sitting on the concrete. Yeah. And you, no, no paper, no nothing. Just on the concrete. So that that that's how my uh, rest of my wedding day went. But uh, other than that, uh, life's been good. Uh, Xbox actually showcased some shit that we're gonna talk about that made me proud. Like I was, I was literally thinking about this. I'm like, I think I'm gonna cancel my Game Pass. I don't touch it enough. Then the showcase happened. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep it now because there's so many games they showed off that some I'm like, I will never buy that, but I would like to play it. Okay. So like uh, a game, I guess. Fuck it. Let's just talk about Xbox Game Showcase since that's that's what I'm bringing up now. Okay. Um, they showed a game called. Uh, I have the list. Let me just go. 
do you guys care? Can we just go through the list of what was announced? Why you I can, guess. Why, why? Yeah, it's, it's, it's our, our podcast. podcast. It's our podcast. We're gonna do whatever the fuck we Give want. The, who gives so, fuck? so they they start off with Call of Duty. We'll talk about Call of Duty at the end because that's when they actually did like their whole twenty five minute spiel. Yeah. But Doom: The Dark Ages was next up, and I'm like, oh my god, this has been rumored for a while. Oh, fuck, man. It looks so good. The weapon where he puts the skull in and then tourniquets it and it shoots out. <laughs> Game of the year. Game of the year right yeah, there. I so um, I obviously didn't pay attention to I don't I I get I rely on you to like just yeah. talk to you and you give yeah. me some of the information and you sent me the trailer for it and that was like one of the things that I noted about it. I'm mm-hmm. excited to play I it. I love it. It's it looks prequel. like it's gonna be some fun entertainment. The shield looks fucking yeah, badass. It looks really cool. What I will say is I love that it's on PS5. I will be buying it on there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you're happy. You're like, fuck, I don't have to buy an Xbox Oh, absolutely. absolutely, fucking lutely <laughs> Yeah, no, it looks great. I'm very excited for it. Um, I love The Last Doom. My wife even loves Doom. I, I was, it, it's, they have all been great. Yeah, when the last one came out, I remember... When did it come out? Was it in 2020? Doom Eternal. Uh, what release date was that? Uh, 2020, yeah, it was 2020. And I remember it came out right around when COVID hit. So like she, we were just spending all the time together because yeah we couldn't work we couldn't <laughs> do anything do nothing but she was watching me play it and she goes I want to play this and she had a switch so I ended up giving her my switch copy of the original one mm-hmm. and it's like so funny to me how like into that game she got so doing the dark ages it, it's funny we were going um well it's kind of like it's a if you can get good about first person shooters yeah like if you can like understand like how to move and stuff mm-hmm. it really becomes a very much more like very simple arcade ish yeah. kind of game like it's old Doom, school oh, yeah it's very old it's school. just updated with a lot more stuff but it flows so so incredibly great. well it's so much fun yeah well and so i was we were going around to like home depot and lowe's looking for a, a security door on the front door mm-hmm. and so we went to lowe's and the xbox game shows case starting i'm like you got to pay attention to everything i'm not i'm i'm watching this <laughs> i was like that 12 year old in the cart with the fucking ipad just I'm like, look at this. Did you get in the car? Huh? Did you get in the car? I should have. No, I was walking around, man. She was like just holding my hand and I was just like, all right, let me, let me, oh, Doom. I'm like, babe, look at this. Like it's Doom. Uh, But yeah, Doom looked awesome. (laughs) Then they also showed off State of Decay 3. It has been like four years since we've seen or heard anything about this. I've never been a fan of this franchise. I get, I get it why people like it. I don't, I don't, it doesn't ring a bell to me. You don't know. This is the zombie survival shooter they have. It's like been a. It was on the original Xbox One, and then the State of Decay 2 came out on the okay. original. They're cool. They're cool survival games. They just, for me, and again, someone can quote me if I'm wrong, I don't think the story's, there's no really story, and I play games for story. Um, I'm sure if I had a b- group of friends to play this game, maybe it would be better. The trailer was cool. The trailer was cool, but that that's about it. I don't okay. have much. Now, this is the big surprise. Now, it is multi-platform, but it's Dragon Age The Veil vale Guard was finally showcased. We know they've been working on this game, and we knew we were going to get gameplay this week. In fact, as we are recording this, they are showing gameplay the day after this. Hmm. This, and it it surprised me it was at Xbox, but what surprised me more was the fact that it is coming out this year. And what excites me about that is two things, Tyler. One, I get a new fucking Dragon Age game this year. Okay. Like, in a year where I felt like nothing was coming out this holiday season, (laughs) I get a new Dragon Age game. Okay. Two... What other franchise does Bioware make that I fucking love? Mass Effect. Mm. I didn't think we were getting that thing. For, and still, we might not get so, it for another five, six years. They're a one-game studio. Here we go. If, if the Dragon Age of the Veil vale Guard is coming out this year, I imagine uh, we're getting Mass Effect three years at least from now. Yeah, okay, gotcha, excites gotcha, gotcha. me so much. But the trailer looks awesome for this. I can't wait. Uh, the last one was incredible. And they said that they're taking more of a Mass Effect approach for this one. So I'm so excited to see what the gameplay looks like. And uh, they said they really focus down on companions, which is like my favorite thing. Because the other Dragon Age games, I don't really remember most of the companions. Where mm-hmm. like Mass Effect, you could ask me, I could say like Liara, Garrus, Mortis, uh, Grunt, uh, Rex. Like I can go off and on about every single one of them. Mm. Dragon Age, I-, I can remember like two of their names. So. You ever play Dragon Age? No. Oh, it's so fucking good. A lot of the games I that were showcased at Xbox, like I, I there's I, mean, I play games, but it's not yeah. like I played every single game yeah. that came out. I know like there's a lot of games like I know um, like Elder Scrolls mm-hmm. is huge. I've never played it. Just yeah, it was never enough. my cup of tea. It's cool to see that yeah. these games are finally coming out where it seems like they took in years. Oh, dude, for development and then like after 
decades plus it feels like it's like oh there's finally release like that's really cool to see that the last dragon age came out in 2014 so it'll yeah, have been that's, 10 see, years that's, since that's, the last one that's kind of cool like to see that so they've spent is, that much time yeah there's like that much development and care and just really i would say just yeah. Getting it all to where it needs yeah. to be. That's really Bioware hasn't made a game since 2017. So that's crazy. This so, about. Up next, they announced Starfield The Shattered Space, uh, which I have heard a lot of people are deeming this is going to be the Cyberpunk 2.0 update for Starfield. Uh, they're adding more weapons, vehicles. <clears throat> well, vehicles, f- fucking finally. They needed to do that. It was so boring. Like, the worst part about that game, and I really like that game, was traveling. Like, when you're on a planet, there's no vehicles. You got to hoof it, which was awful awful um so i'm do they probably, show do they show any like gameplay yeah of yeah what it is? yeah yeah it's cool it looks awesome it okay. looks awesome so there, it's not like a direct comparison to no like, it's, it's gonna just, be cyberpunk it's just more of like the update is going to the be update's gonna fix like the, how so oh, gotcha, gotcha yeah gotcha. um i can't say i'm super hyped uh, it comes out in September, but there's also another game that comes out in September called Space Marines 3, which I'm like 30 times more excited oh, for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, are you, and that's like the Henry uh, Cavill game, the Warhammer? Well, it's not Henry. Henry Cavill's going to be I mean, the show, but yeah, Warhammer. But like what yeah. he's super into? Yeah, it's Warhammer. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I, yeah, I'm probably going to play that over this personally. So. It's funny because I was never really... I, I like lore. I yeah. Like read about shit. And... When it comes to video games, there can be some video games that have a shit ton of lore behind them. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically, actually, the Souls game to behind uh, Bloodborne, you, Bloodborne. Yeah, that's yeah, one yeah. of them. Uh, so much good story. Starfield. Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk. So much lot. good lore and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I love it. Um, next up, they showed the Fallout seventy six stuff. Um, I tried getting back into it. I get. I don't get it. The only cool thing that kind of like almost made me want to jump back in, dude. You can be a ghoul now. Mm. In the new update, which like that's cool to me. You can become a ghoul. Fuck yeah! You've never that's been able to, You've never been able to play as a ghoul in Fallout, which I think is sick. Is it just a customization aspect? Or no, there. I I think you actually have to like survive as a ghoul, which like there's other things you have to take like medication so you don't go feral and shit like that. So huh. there's a lot of cool. Uh, the next thing, which this is the one that it's either gonna go one or two ways. It's a game I would never buy, but since it's on Game Pass, I will play it. It is called South of Midnight. It's a folktale setting and a third-person action design, and it looks like Coraline, like the way that it's stylized. Oh, gotcha. But it's like Tim the, Burton. Yes, but well, or like just like clay animation. Yeah, yeah. But the action looks like Infamous, which hmm. is where I got sold on this. So I am very curious about this. Comes out in 2025. We will see. The biggest curiosity I had though was Expedition 33, new RPG turn-based 2025 coming to all consoles just look at the gameplay for it when you get a chance looks fucking sick okay. i was sitting there in lows i'm like what the fuck is this game i'm like this looks fucking sick and then they said expedition 33 i'm like i don't know what that is but i want to play it. Like, it looks good yeah uh then they finally announced perfect dark uh it's been in development hell uh but it seems like they got it out and it looks fantastic it looks like the prey game i pray two game i did not get and i fucking can't wait i don't know if you ever played pray uh perfect dark back in the day on like the original xbox and no. stuff but it's an awesome action packed thing uh I, I don't remember the story too much but the the trailer for this like sold me like when it was going through they didn't say it was perfect dark or at least i, I didn't see that part and i was like what the fuck is this oh my god this looks sick and then when they said perfect dark i was like oh fuck yeah I am so into this. Like, it looks awesome. It looks like a throwback to old school shooters like Doom, mm. but in terms of new technology, I, I think Xbox will have a fucking huge win on that one if the game is good. Next, they announced World of Warcraft, The War Within. I don't know much about World of Warcraft. All I will say is I was very disappointed in this. You know why? Because hmm. I see the trailer. And I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's World of Warcraft. Are they going to say it's on Game Pass? Are they saying it's coming to consoles? No. Yeah, there's no nah, way. They nah. make too much money off of that property. No, nah. but they own it. They own it now. Like, yeah. I would, I would, it, but the smart thing would be, I don't even care if it's on Game Pass. Makes too much money. But they should throw it on consoles. I, I don't care. For sure. If they, I still got to pay for it, like, that's fine, but. Oh, for sure. But you say, is it coming to Game Pass? There's, n- I'd be, I'd be shocked if they ever did that. I've never played World of Warcraft. I just know that they make stupid. 
stupid, like outrageous amounts of money. Yeah, that game. It's insane. I like, actually, but they're player. What, but you got to think what about it. What do you think makes more money? Hmm. World of Warcraft or um, Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite. As of so? right now, yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. I'll look it up right I, now, but I, I would assume I'm Fortnite. I'm curious. It's like, I'm actually really curious who makes more money. This or Fortnite. Let's see. Uh, Here, talk, keep talking about something else because I'm trying to look this up. Let's see. Okay. So talking like, about you some of the games like, we overall, talked about. You don't like okay, so overall, I I think World of Warcraft has generated more money. Overall, I mean, yeah, that's not fair to say though cuz Fortnite hasn't been around as long that's, as World of yeah. Warcraft. And beforehand, World of Warcraft was there there was a subscription and you had to buy the add-ons. Yeah. Now you just pay for the subscription. So it's like mm. vastly different now than what it used to be. So it's hard to gauge overall which one makes more. What kind of information are you finding? It's because if you just go off what Warcraft makes per... Someone says, like, Fortnite has 250 million subscriber base, Jeez. which absolutely dwarfs Warcraft's numbers right now. Really? Warcraft still makes stuff right now, but if you take... I mean... So right now, Warcraft has about 5 million subs at $15 per month. So yeah, it's Fortnite currently is winning. That doesn't include microtransactions. And then just so if we have a shout that's, out, that's, what, what website is that? It's uh, on a Blizzard website. It's like on a form thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, people Blizzard are arguing form. about it. But um, ah, some so guy did the math. But Fortnite's hard to gauge because you just have to expect if you have 250 million people who play Fortnite, if they spend at least $1 on Fortnite, so crazy. They, they, that's one dollar to them but nothing's one dollar on there no because they have a membership which is the best like i i pay for this because it, i do play fortnite every month and it's the best the fucking thing you get a thousand dollars to put towards a skin and you get the season pass and you get an exclusive skin every month so like if you're consistently playing, it is literally the best deal. Like especially if I had a kid who was wanting to play Fortnite, that's the best way to put it. You tell them save up your skin money, so you don't have to pay them, yeah. and then they get the battle pass, and that's it. And you can also sell your account too. Eventually, yeah, yeah, that's my goal. Eventually, um, up next they showed off Metal Gear Solid Delta, the Snake Eater remake, which mm -hmm. I'm so excited for. It looks awesome. Uh, it's not an exclusive, but it's cool. Diablo Four. They showed the add-on, the trailer. If you don't watch the trailer, you should watch it when you get home. It's fucking creepy. It's yeah, creepy. But uh, I, I pre-ordered this bitch because you get a fucking, uh, you get a cat as a pet now to help you in battle. I was you get a cat? Yeah, you can get a cat, a dog. Uh, you can get all these, you get pets now. And then the, they added new mounts. So if you, I, I didn't pay for the special edition yet. I'm going to pay the 50 bucks the next time we get paid. But you get like a a, a leopard to ride on. So it's badass. That's neat. Then Tyler, they showed me Fable. They showed fucking Fable, and I was so hyped, man. <laughs> like, it looks fantastic. It looks fucking phenomenal. The graphics look great. The gameplay looks awesome. I can't wait. Have you ever played Fable? No. Yeah, you should. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle looks great. It's from the people who made Wolfenstein. I assume it'll be awesome. Okay. Uh, Frag Punk, I didn't watch a lot of it. I'm just kind of... Winter Burrow, I turned off the fucking thing when that came on. Mixtape, I turned it off. Microsoft Flight Simulator, I fell asleep in. Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadow, I have not watched anything for, but... I, well, I watched one clip today. Looks cool. Looks like Ghost of Tsushima in Assassin's Creed. So, okay. Adam Fall, no idea what the fuck that is. Life is Strange, I've never played one. Mecha Break, no fucking idea. Stalker 2 looks fucking great, though. Stalker 2. Me, I, I'll leave that for Phil to talk a, lo of, a little bit more on the next podcast, but Stalker 2 looks awesome. Um, Don't know what that is. Avowed looks cool. Kind of lowered my expectations, though. This is the granddaddy, though. Gears of War E-Day. Yeah, that one. Do you know how many people texted me? That, like, that one, yeah. definitely, for sure. I'm, I'm looking, not what I, looking forward to that. Not what I expected. So it's, I'll have to come over to your place. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> it's set 14 years before the first game, and it's right when they came back from the Pendulum Wars. And boom, Locus. 
Did you watch the trailer? Yeah. Okay, so I love this because first off, they talked about how they want to make the locust scary again, like mm-hmm. the first game. And the, they said that scene you see, first off, they came out and said that that, that is all in engine. That is all in engine Unreal 5. Yeah, they actually which put the looks marker f- saying that. Yeah, looks phenomenal. That's crazy. Yeah, actually, now that you said that, that's actually crazy to think about. That wasn't just a mm-hmm. cinematic. That was in-game. Yeah, and it'll be a linear game, no open world stuff. It just seems like they're going back to basics. Thank and goodness. I'm, I am I loved 5, and if it was up to me, I would have said they should have finished 6. And then came out with Ide next and just had this battleground. But uh, you know what? If they had the story to tell and they were want, they were too eager to t- not tell it right now, I am so in. And I kind of expect for, especially how uh, 5 ended, I expect E-Day to kind of give us a new dynamic of Marcus Phoenix. I also think it's cool how much he looks like JD. Yeah. Like, I, even in the 4 I mean, and 5, I was like, they kind of look like each I other. Mean, they're game developers. I feel like that's intentional. Yeah. Right? But it looks a lot like him. So I am so excited for Gears of War E-Day. I fucking can't wait. Is that one game, like, what's one game franchise that you wish you could just get just unlimited from just, like, how much has been untold, like, Gears of War? Like, there's not a lot that has been fleshed out like, so much. And like, like, in a lot of different If I could just keep games. getting sequels, like, consistent quality good sequels where they yeah, flesh out the world. The and- whole, like, say that there was, uh, let's say, like, Gears of War, for example, yeah. right? I don't know how many books there probably are written, for, right? Them. Yeah. For every book, you got basically like video game. Like it covers yeah. every single event that's like imagined in this whole universe, etc. Mm-hmm. Like, which one would you want? Like to just touch on more? Could it just like be just game? Play any game? Any game? It could be Mass Effect. Like, all uh, the yeah. That, like, I mean, Mass it's it's tough hasn't. because Mass Effect. I would want it to only like in in I know I'm probably in the minority. I would want it to literally only follow like the crew oh, of characters one. I knew, um, exploring the galaxy. Yeah, I, I I would rather prefer that just because the only taste in my mouth of another group of characters wasn't the best, and it didn't make the journey that much more exciting. Hmm. Mass Effect is built off characters. The world's awesome, but it it's fleshed out because of those characters. So. If I got that, yes. Um, Gears of War, it's either Gears, honestly, or Bioshock. I don't think there was mm. enough. Like, when we got the add-ons for Infinite, it was so cool to see, like, the exploration of it, you yeah. know? So I would have liked a little bit more of that. Or even, like, this, the whole sky area of Infinite. Or, like, the build-up. Like, I would fucking play a game where I'm Andrew Ryan building Rapture. You know, uh, like yes, yeah, and that's why I mean, like, could you like get a game where it's before Rapture went all oh, shit? Yeah. But there's like different things, like yeah, that like game. that. That's some stuff. Um, another one, honestly, Uncharted. You could have cranked me out thousands of Uncharted's yeah. where it's just Nathan Drake going on a journey, and I would be all for it. What about Last of Us? No, no, mm. no. If it's not Joel and Ellie, I don't care. Really? Well, at this point, Ellie. Yeah, I, I don't care. That's why I'm, I'm very interested in the... Uh, I would rather just Naughty Dog do a new series then at mm-hmm. that point. It, but just because, again, they could do a Last of Us game without them, but you have to tell a compelling story. You have to win me over that this is worth telling in this new universe. So uh, we will, we'll see on that. Uh, last thing to just talk about... Um, actually, I'm going to say that. We're going to talk about Call of Duty a little bit later into this. So uh, just because I, I think you and me are going to disagree a lot on that one. But you sure you don't want to talk about that right now? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna if we're gonna argue and get into a fight and break the table, let's do it at the end. Um what? <laughs> you know, nothing. You just you think my broken toes, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass. <laughs> I pre ordered that shit. Did you really? Yeah. A fucking write off for sure, but <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you that right now, I'm gonna write that shit off, but You're not wrong. I mean as a I, 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 mean, I watched, or I watched 25 it. minutes and then talked to someone who play tested it. Fool me once, whatever. I don't care. Fool me twice. I This is the first Call of Duty I bought in full price in uh, three, four years now. So I am very interested in it. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Um, last week or last month, you and me talked about giving each other something to watch something to do mm. did you watch the killer i did not fuck you man really i'm sorry seriously i yeah. watched the gentleman and you couldn't watch the killer uh, i'm sorry i fucked up yeah you did 
You fucked up. Now I'm going to give you... Now, now you got to watch The Killer. You don't get to give me a, a thing this time. That's fine. But I have to but, watch two now? Yeah, you got to watch fine. two now. Okay? I, I fucked up. That's So that's you got to watch The Killer, okay? okay? And then you got to watch fucking Poor Things. There you go. Oh, no. No. No, because I don't care. <laughs> and I'm going to, and this is how specific I'm going to be. I'm literally going to ask you like specific questions when it comes down to these. Um, no. The Poor Thing is awesome, dude. Poor Thing is awesome. It's such a well written movie. Jumping Why are you and, jumping up and down? Vigorously jumping up and down. If you guys haven't seen Poor Things, it is a fucking <laughs> wild ride. Uh, it's so unique. If you like unique movies, I, I cannot recommend it. Actually, you know what? If you don't want to go see Poor Things, and I'll watch it. No, 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 no. I'll give you two options, okay? You either don't watch Poor Things or you go see Furiosa in theaters. You have one of the two. If you go see Furiosa in theaters, I don't care if you watch The Killer. Just because Furiosa is leaving theaters soon. So, because it's bombing. So, okay. Go see Furiosa, everybody, please. I need it's to go an see that. Movie. Honestly, in... I, I will tell you right now, I need you, to see that. you should see it this week because I don't think it'll be in theaters after this week. So Okay. Um, okay, that's it. And then we'll come back next week and talk about i did like the gentleman um i wasn't completely blown away by it it kind of started to lose my attention a really? little bit yeah I, I wasn't fully sold on it i tv's really interesting to me because if i'm not like interested from like the first two episodes it becomes a drag that's why i don't review a lot of it because i never know what i'm going to get from it uh i did watch something early though which i can talk about right now because this episode's not coming up till later after the embargo comes up i watched the boys season four the full thing and I binged it in almost one sitting. It's my second favorite out of all the stuff they've done. Uh, I still love season one the most, but it is the most consistent season due to the fact that they actually give every character something to fucking do, which has been my issue since season two, that all the characters, you have all these characters, you have deep, you have the deep, the Aquaman die, you have a train and they never give them like good shit and good meaty stuff to do. Every character had something to do. And the other thing they made me feel about is uh, season three, when I watched it, I was like, all right, make season four your build up to five and then end the show because mm -hmm. you can't just keep letting Homelander get away. Gotcha. This show adds new stuff and new context to the show, which some of it's from the comics, which the comics is not that great. It fucking kind of sucks. Um, that made me go, oh, that's very intriguing. I'm all about that. If they made four more seasons of this, I'd be totally fine. Just because of all the new stuff they just introduced me mm -hmm. to. Um, so I'm really into this. I I love, love, love this new season. Um, just as crude? You know, yeah, because my wife, <laughs> she's never seen anything The Boys. Okay. But she would sit on the couch and watch the new season with me. And like I would kind of explain stuff to her, but she'd just watch it or read her book. Mm -hmm. There was a scene where I could... I I don't know what episode it was. So I don't, I can't go full in the spoilers because I would if the, the episode was out or I knew it was going to be out. Yeah. But there's an episode where you deal with a man who can morph in, like he can duplicate himself. Okay. I think you can imagine when you see an, a man naked like that, Jeez. what you can think he'll do to himself. But, oh uh, my God. <laughs> uh, but she Jeez. looked up and just saw 10 dongs and, uh, oh, she's geez. like, what oh. the fuck? And then an action scene breaks out um so it, it's pretty wild that was for me probably the most insane thing uh but this season's like more character so focused. nothing like termite nah um, nah nothing in that i mean uh no wait no no there was one scene there's a sex chamber scene i forgot about oh jeez yeah it's not it's not crude and one of the actors who's in that scene he got asked he's like i'll do anything they ask me to not everything in that scene he goes, I have my stunt that will do some stuff on that scene. <laughs> and it's not because it's like in terms of like what they're doing isn't like unsafe. Yeah, no, no. It's just it's like. It's just a, disgusting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I was actually going to send you like me watching it like videos. Um, if you guys do remember from the trailer, that though, insane, there's a bunch huh? of stuff with sheeps like murdering people because they got powers. Oh, dude, that entire scene. I was fucking dying laughing. It was so funny. Man. You see this guy walking, and all of a sudden, a chicken bursts through his fucking chest. What? Yeah, it's fucking because oh, they're experimenting on them. And That's stuff, hilarious. So. Okay. 
it's odd. That sounds over the top. Yeah. That sounds actually like yeah. A funny so episode. I mean, that's what I've been interested in. I dude, when it ended the new season, because I wasn't looking at the time, I I literally yelled, "Fuck! I need five right now!" Like I hope they, I hope we get five by the end of next year. Like I I can't wait that long. I have to know what happens. Are next. you excited for Invincible? Um, Invincible is an interesting one because I love the first season. Like I loved it to the point where I bought every single comic book and read it in a month because I, I just wanted to know what was going to mm. happen next. And then season two came out and I liked it. And then they did the dumbest idea was splitting the season into two halves. So you got four episodes and then like I'd wait five months for the next ep- or three months for the next episode mm. or the next four. And it kind of killed the momentum for me. Yeah, I think there's a I think it's very brutal. I think there's still a lot of good character development. It definitely is the weakest part in the comic, so it's hard for me to judge. I think the next season will be better. Um, they just can't hold off. That was three-year wait from season one to season two. Okay. So uh, at this point, I think The Boys is the most consistent superhero franchise going right now. Okay. That's better than Marvel. That's better than the DC. Again, Marvel might come back with Deadpool and Wolverine this year and kind of showcase some stuff. Okay. But uh, yeah, man, like I, I definitely wanted a little bit more from Invincible. I, I know you didn't watch the second season. I don't even know if no, you watched the first. I, I, I watched a little bit of it. I didn't get super into it. I know it was good. Um, and actually, funny enough, thinking about it, I was like, what have I been into? That just sparked yeah. thought about it. I was about to ask you that. Um, these do comic books, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Berserk. Oh, yeah. Are you watching the anime for that? So right? I already finished it. Yeah. And I've, like, Would you like more the book or, or the manga or the, the anime? From what you've read so far, I guess. Oh, there's like 41 yeah. books? Yeah. And like the anime... Uh, there's a lot of different terminology that mm-hmm. kind of like overlap, but I can't really remember it all. But anime the is the show, manga show, is the whatever book. you want to yeah. call it. Um, only covers like a few of the books, which it, mm-hmm. there's so much more about that story that is just only in the comics. And the creator passed away like two years ago. Oh. Or something like that. Elden Ring was actually mm-hmm. the games have a proper like homage to them, different things around yeah, the whole I game. That. And a lot of games are actually heavily influenced, which I didn't realize mm-hmm. were by that. So fucking good. It's brutal. Yeah. And like it's I've never been it's my first manga book to first three because I got the deluxe edition. Oh, okay. And it's all three books, like over six hundred yeah. pages long and I finished in twenty four less than twenty four hours. Yeah. I I've never I've never I used it's to read so manga back crazy. in the day. But it's too much for me. But no, I I like it. I wish I could get into it personally. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff to it. Again, it's just comic books. It's literally just no. A comic but book I mean, the, in terms of the anime, like the anime. Oh like, yeah. Like for I get me, that. yeah. I get that. I, but also, like book wise, like I don't really read a lot. <laughs> like I, I just I don't have time to read. Yeah, it's, um, like I wish I did, but I, I just, mean, what what you do? Yeah. In your everyday, it's like you, when it's I hard read, to find time. it's because it's probably for a movie. Like yeah. that's or something's coming up. Like a like when I buy a comic book, it's usually because oh this the show's coming out or yeah. this movie's coming out. So I'm reading this comic because it may tie into that, and I want to know what I'm talking about. Like uh, oh absolutely. Are you seeking a better context? Even kind of like um the how I started talking about this is just invincible. You got those comic books because you wanted to know. What yeah, the and rest that, and be. it's fun. So, but you know the only bad part about it is when I watch the show and I talk about it. Like, and I have to do non-spoiler reviews. Uh, it's tough for me because I know what's coming up yeah. next. And sometimes, like, it feels like it's jumping off the page. So sometimes I'll get confused. I'm like, did this happen before in the comic? Yeah. And then, like, someone did will they... comment and catch me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned that yet. Then. Slip. Because it's so close to it. So mm-hmm. was is Berserk pretty close to the manga, would you say? I know a lot of animes typically are, but I was just curious yes, if it absolutely. is. Okay. absolutely. That's but cool. even it's so funny because where the first three books star or mm-hmm. just are in the and what you watch in the anime yeah are two different parts oh okay what you when like the actual manga where Berserk yeah. starts it's certain events have happened there's so people that's know mm-hmm. Berserk will know what I'm talking about yeah they're so prominent and like so huge about Berserk yeah that it's already like those events already happened but you don't know that yet uh. it's almost kind of like how Star Wars is, is how it kind of got released in a non chronological order yeah so like you were introduced not on to, purpose but yeah, yeah. yeah but you got like introduced to Darth Vader Darth Vader and you're like okay who's this guy mm-hmm 
but it's only until the, the more prequels and exactly stuff, yeah. it starts piecing together like oh you get the full well, picture and to be honest with you that's why i know a lot of people shit on this this is now jumping into star wars um i know a lot of people shit on the sequel trilogy and stuff like that but for me what excites me is to see how they develop that later down the road in other movies in comics in books in the television shows and cartoons and animation whatever it may be i'm excited because if you just have the original trilogy cool then you go to the you know the prequel mm-hmm. trilogy which two of the movies in there are arguably terrible yeah <laughs> revenge of the sith I, I will fucking fight you that movie's awesome i don't never i don't think it maybe i, I have, have met, i've met a lot i of think i maybe that I not have like that movie that's people that did not like revenge of the sith i'm like yeah Why? but it's rare but i remember when i watched clone wars it built up phantom menace and clone wars for me and i was oh, like absolutely oh this is actually not that bad of storytelling once you have the pieces in the middle. Some of the movies mm-hmm. still awful. Uh, everything with Padme and Anakin and Attack of the Clones is fucking ass, but... It was just like the animated series. Yeah. Like, that was a good way of telling stories that were that were happening in the Star Wars universe. Yep. Just like the whole universe in itself that you just don't realistically have the budget to or even the technology to probably do this all in a movie format. Yeah. And that's where it was like, cool. Where I was like originally telling us like, what kind of game property would you want to see? Something similar like that, where it's like gears of war. There's so many different stories, so many different characters that you don't really get to see all their adventures about. Yeah. So yeah, man, I mean, (laughs) it's so wild. Like the, the difference I was going to ask you this, um, in terms of anime, like jumping back, what was the first anime you ever watched? Do you remember? I feel like everyone has like one that they primarily like watched or like at least were like, oh, that's what is this? It's different than my normal shows I watched as a kid. I th- think it was Dragon Ball Z. Was it? Okay. that's That was mine too. I remember vividly. Uh, I couldn't go home. So I went home with uh, like a friend of mine. So my mom would pick me up later after work. Mm-hmm. And he had all these posters on the wall of this big buff man and <laughs> this buff piece of gum. And I'm like, Oh, what is that? And he goes, this is dragon ball. It's so fucking cool. You know, he's like, uh, he's going so into it. He goes, that's boo. That's Goku. And yeah, yeah. fucking shows me it. I'm like, this is, this is fucking cool. Yeah. This is really fucking cool. I never really got into anime like that. Even until now, like there's definitely a few different anime shows. I've seen yeah. that like, Good. Oh, dude! After um, that, I would go home and watch Toonami every fucking time it was on. I would yeah. block out that time and make sure I was at home. Uh, I was so I was so into it, and but it's funny. It's like that's my comfort. Like I never really go to new animes. Mm. It's very hard for you to tell me, hey, you should watch. I got a. I actually got an email like from Crunchyroll, yeah. like specifically asking, hey, do you want to cover this? And I'm like, I do, but. I don't no, like, like I, it's hard I, I for you it. to want me to watch this like no, I totally get it like I'm probably the same way with like almost identical with mm-hmm. how you look at anime slash manga there's just so much of it well like, there's so much but also like there is a well just when I say anime I'm meaning both yeah. the actual manga so um, there's so much anime and there's like literally an anime for like every type of like particular taste or even story exactly that you want. it is insane which is cool oh, i it's like it awesome i mean mm-hmm. i'm also a huge fan of just japanese culture and stuff like that yeah. in general and it's really anime is a um a homage to where like they are very mm-hmm. thoughtful like individuals where they really are going to perfect their craft and make something yeah. really well and has a lot of symbolism and there's yeah. just a lot of well, and that's world building. That's what I love so much about like like Naruto is my favorite anime anything. Oh, there's I a love lot of the world building you, yeah. and all that. Uh, it's so great. You did it. You put something in the template though that I I was really excited to talk about, which was like f- our favorite shows growing up. Mm. Um, speaking of anime, obviously I mentioned like Dragon Ball and Naruto. I don't want to include anime on this oh, because then it would be a whole fucking other field. Yeah, yeah. But there is one series I have to ask you: Do we get to include it or not? And it's because some people say it's anime, some people say it's not. I do not okay. include it as anime, but it's Avatar: The Last Airbender. Okay. I don't think it's anime. Do you want to include it or not? I, I mean, that's fine to say that's your favorite show growing up. I would definitely. It's 
Do you think it's anime or not? Yes. Because okay, it's, it's so if you say it is, style, then I, mean, I won't include I'm not, it. But, but I'm I could curious. also be completely wrong to like an expert in anime, like a viewer, like I, no, it's not. Like actually, it's not. So the it's reason this style. I don't view it as anime, okay, is because it's not from Japan. Oh, okay. It's it was made in the West. Again, I so, know it's and culture. that could be like yeah. a way of like distinct. Like yeah. oh, if it's not made yeah. in Japan or original created mm-hmm. from uh, Japan, it's not considered yeah. anime. Just how kind of like whiskey. Yeah. If it's like bourbon for example mm-hmm. kentucky street bourbon. if it's not made in yeah. kentucky or made with kentucky yeah. spring water mm-hmm. you can't consider yeah. it a kentucky street well, bourbon and let me say this uh, uh, cody Scotch. curtis if you're listening to this fuck you see it's not anime it's not from japan me and him got in this argument the the other day uh, about this. um so let's talk about our top five i'll say my okay. five you say your five uh this is tough what there's so many shows I grew up with. Um, I think this is in no particular order, but uh, my number five would be Courage of the Cowardly Dog. I think this is actually where I got into horror is because of this series, and I was more intrigued with it. And uh, I remember my dad used to watch it with me, and it would be really cool. So okay. what's your number five? Is that if That's, that's one actually of one of them. Okay, I, I don't have a particular say. order. Just yeah, I don't have it, a particular so order. So you can say Courage, too, no, if you want. Courage right now. is definitely one of them. Uh, I've always liked horror mm-hmm. and like just weird, dark stuff. I guess the slap, the slap, like always. Bro, me that out. episode, I still don't want to watch that episode but there's today. Also, like the creativity of um, Courage. There was so much yeah. the artistic style. Yeah, like every episode was always so drastically different. Mm-hmm. Art style too, with the creatures and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, it, it was very well written. I love that show. And very simple. Yeah. Um, I remember actually watching. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah. Um, a couple of years ago. Now that I love that I, series. I was older. And I was like, because I haven't seen it in years since Still I was a kid. So good. Oh, I disagree. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe I really? actually watched this as a kid. Because yeah. it, it was so simple and dumb. It is simple and dumb. But a lot of series are. Oh, yeah. Bad. And it's like, but it's from the simplicity of your child mind. Of thinking yeah. how great it is. It's like, oh my goodness. These so would that still be in your top five? I mean, it's... It, I mean, growing up as a kid, I love it. So I would, I guess I would constitute that as one, being one of them. Yeah. So is that your number four? I, well, that's number two or two on the list. Courage and then Ed okay. and Eddie. What's your um, number two? My next one. My next one, yeah. No parts get go order. I want to say Ben 10. Because I thought Ben 10 was badass. Okay. Like, I really liked it. Like, it was cool like he had the little thing he yeah, turned yeah. into an alien like Maybe i don't know i not want to have that yeah i was like into aliens and stuff like that i was a cartoon network kid like I definitely like too. cartoon network uh nickelodeon some disney stuff like lilo and stitch the series that American was really dragon cool. jake long yeah the lilo and stitch where they get, they're yeah. all uh hunting down the different yeah experiments. i still watch it to this day it's really, buzz Lightyear star cool. command i used to watch the <laughs> shit out of like um but yeah like i would probably say my number four was um Ben 10. Okay. So, um, I would say my th- third one on my list would be, I'm going to say Flapjack. Oh, that's a great one. No chowder. Oh, okay. I didn't. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe. Like, this is number three. Yeah. Flapjack it was awesome. Was, I think that was like the last pinnacle of Cartoon Network personally. Like was that in chowder? And uh, no, Gumball. Regular, well, you have Adventure well, Time. Well, Gumball and Regular Show. I think those yeah. all came like right around that same time. So, no, What do you like was, about that, Flapjack so much? What? What do you like about Flapjack so much? Art style. It yeah. was more of a mature cartoon that felt like for kids. Mm-hmm. I It was just like, it. just the whole art style was yeah. awesome. The, I mean, everything about it was so yeah. unique and different. Um, it was not for everybody. Yeah. It was very particular. I have, a lot of people did not like it. Yeah. I have one that's like that. Um it would probably be like my number six or seven. Okay. But it would be Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I just want to give a shout out to. I thought that was such oh, a cool show. Oh, man. Yeah. It's such a good show, but I got I don't, two other spots. I was like, yeah, no, I think like some I other ones too. I don't think I can put it in mine personally. Like, I loved it. If you ask me for a top 10, six or seven, I think I'm, yeah. I'm safe on. Um, but my number, what am I on? Three? Codenames Kids Next Door. That show yeah. was the fucking shit. The spice shit. I man, I was obsessed with that stuff. I even was obsessed with the online MMO game they had on like their fucking website. It was so much fun. Um, yeah. So uh, go go on. It's actually my one. number four spot for sure. Is uh, good name. Okay, so that's up there too. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Who was your favorite? Mine was number four. <sighs> number two was pretty cool. Yeah. 
You know what I just got? I actually I like watched the movie like a week or two. Oh, yeah, where his dad's zero. Dude. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, their uncle is the, the asshole one. Yeah. yeah, it's... Oh, and it's so good. No, it's it's awesome. And even how like all the adults were mm-hmm. always something. It's like... Yeah. Uh, like, there wasn't there a like, root beer guy? Yeah, root yeah. Root beer villain? Yeah. And, like a tapioca dude as mm-hmm. well. Um. It's great. Like the alphabet vampire or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Like, the, again, creativity mm-hmm. was really, really cool. I agree. All right. Uh, up next, I got two more. Um, yeah, you're number four. I'm going to go the Spider-Man 90s series. Okay. I That was what made me love Spider-Man so much. Uh, I fell in love with that character from that series, and it made me want to jump into the comics and read about him. And then, of course, the Tobey Maguire movie came out. So... Uh, I love that series so much. It's just, I still watch it. I still put it on. It's cheesy, I know, but like, I love seeing how they build up all the different characters Mysterio, Rhino, mm. Goblin, and how there was really character arcs. Like, that's a series that taught me about character arcs yeah. itself. So, um, I don't think you got a lot of that in Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network or uh, well, those- Disney Channel kids. Like, that was a very specific type of show that. I think I wish more television shows for kids were like nowadays. Yeah. So, uh, those comic book, old comic book shows, mm-hmm. there's a reason why they're still yeah. relevant. There's a reason day. why X Men 97 is the best show of this year. My point exactly. Dude, that show is fucking phenomenal. They're still making, I don't know how they're doing it, but I mean, yeah, they did it. Yeah, they did. All right, your next one. I guess this is your last one, right? Yeah, this is my last yeah. one, fifth one. I was thinking about a cartoon, but I did just say shows. Yeah. You can say something. No, I'm only no, doing, no, I'm doing I, cartoons. I, I was a cartoon kid, so. I mean, I love cartoons. Don't get me wrong. I mean, what kid didn't? Yeah. But I do have to throw in one. Okay. And I'm going to probably go with George Lopez. Oof. I just got done rewatching that. It's so good. I was going between George Lopez and Fresh Prince. Okay. I was more of a George Lopez I growing would, up. I, I, I mean, Fresh Prince is great. I get me wrong. Um, but for sure, George Lopez. Mm-hmm. Like late at, Nick Nick, at night. Nick at yeah, night. Like, yeah, man. Which is so funny because as a kid. I'd wake up in the middle of the night to tequila. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, and I'm like, who is this jumping on my a trampoline on TV right now? Well, it's also funny because it seemed like when Nick at Night came on and George yeah. Lopez came on as a kid, you're like, oh, it's late. No, it's not. No. It's like nine. Yeah. Eight. It's like nine, ten. Yeah. Maybe. It's still smack, though. Oh, That's a absolutely. Great but pick, like, man. as a kid, you're like, dang, I'm up late. And it's, it's still, like George Lopez yeah. is on. I'm up late. There's no more cartoons. There's it's time no to go more. to bed. There's no more. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'll definitely mm-hmm. say George Lopez for sure. All right. Uh, so I'm going to say my number one, but then I'm going to give a couple more shout outs to a couple other series okay. just because I was really going back and forth. Like if there was only one show that I could show a future kid of mine, what would it be? Well, my, cha- my, my one honorable mention would yeah. be Chowder. Chowder. Yeah. Chowder is awesome. Chowder. Um, so my number one though, and I went back and forth on this, but I think I have to settle on Batman Beyond and Batman, the animated series. Going back to the same thing I said about Spider-Man. Both those series... I started with Beyond and then I went back and watched Animated. uh, Because Beyond came out when I was a kid and Animated series ended about when I was like two. Mm -hmm. So those, again, made me fall in love with Batman. Beyond was fucking awesome. It was a cyberpunk styled fucking, you know, Uh neo-noir Batman world. I love the suit, the black, and just the red. Yeah, yeah. How much are you about? So I love those series, and again, it just had the storylines to it. It had the character arcs, the development, the intrigue, and I remember going to, like, what was it, Blockbuster, and renting the the Return of the Joker, Batman Beyond, yeah, Batman Beyond movie, and it was awesome. We're watching the Mr. Freeze uh, Batman animated series one, so that was awesome. A uh, couple shout outs. Lilo and Stitch already said that would have been up there. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Uh, Angry Beavers. I fucking love. <laughs> but I also want to shout out the Jackie Chan Adventure Show, man. I love that series so much. Um, oh, I have. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I have, I have another one. But, oh, you sure? Yeah, yeah, you don't I'll want to do one more honorable mention, but you okay. go ahead. I have one more after Jackie Chan. But uh, Jackie Chan is like one of the more important shows to me in my life. Um, I have a lot of core memories to it. I'm going to try not to cry right now. Uh, I remember the day I found out my grandmother died, uh, I was watching it and it was just like 
a core piece. Never watched the show again after that. <laughs> but Fair enough. I loved it. Um, and then I guess I have two more. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003, fucking best edition of the Ninja Turtles ever. Absolutely love it. And my last one, Teen Titans. Samurai Jack. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't like Samurai Jack till I was older. What? I didn't like it till I was older. Get out of here, dude. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. We didn't even talk about Dexter's Lavatory. Dexter's Lab was also on there. So I mean, there's so many I mean, great shows yeah, that we all There's a lot, up, yeah. We, we, Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah, what are your curious, favorites? Yeah, I'm curious to see what people thought. And honestly, that's where... Yeah. But Samurai Jack... We were, we, we were born in a... Yeah pinnacle time yeah i liked samurai cartoons. jack growing up i liked samurai jack growing up but it wasn't one of my favorite like but love samurai the jack. last season that came out what years later yeah oh yeah 10 out of 10 <laughs> fucking masterpiece <laughs> like one of the best things i've ever it's watched so good um, so good so yeah i love that man uh, we're getting pretty far into this, yeah. and I know you want to talk about the the AI yeah, was, and stuff say, like that. Let's so let's talk about that. let's end on this, I guess. Let's talk about the conversation of Apple's showcase. I know it's well, not I on, but, well, but even I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Where, like, do you look at Skynet <laughs> as AI as Sky as a yeah, potential yeah, Skynet, yeah. or do you think it's actually going to be like a useful like? Are we as humans? Are we able to? use it to actually better ourselves and actually get us as a, as if I think actually it's, useful I, th tool, I think it's a, you? I think it's a yes and no. I, I think in some ways, shape and form AI can be used for great stuff, but it can also be used for trash. Uh, a lot of that I can see is I look at the strikes of last year with the actors and the writers mm -hmm. and how they were really fighting to not have AI be a part of that. They yeah. wanted to take AI and basically be able to flub actors lines and yeah. change it which I don't like. That changes their performance. That's not fair to them. Are they getting paid for their mm -hmm. stuff being used? Alongside writers. Writers can use AI to a certain degree, but are they going to be able to write their own? Like, yeah, is, this a, like, is this written by this writer that yeah. you put your name on it? Or no, it was is actually it, written by AI. Yeah, How like, much does the studio it? take your concept and outline, put it into AI and say, change this up and make it with this flair. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I've used AI. I've used chat GPT for some YouTube descriptions and to get YouTube ideas of, people, of what's trending. It, there is a way to use a it. There's a tool. But I think some people rely on it a little bit too hard. Some businesses rely on it a little bit too yeah. hard where I think, um, I don't want to get into like where we work clearly, but like, I think there's a degree to where maybe there's conversations being had that can AI just do this job. And I'll tell you right now, there's no fucking way AI could just do our job. Uh, not uh, getting it because uh, I don't want to say where we work at. Well, but I'm gonna say not right now. If it if like, it like, develops just, that's where and I'm stuff saying, like this is why it's in your conversation. Do do you think that it could potentially get like? No. I don't know how far no. people say it's like this is limitless. I mean, I don't I don't know, but I would say now I'd rather work with someone. I would rather work with an actual human being. Oh, you're saying from that standpoint, from a human to human yes. aspect, it's not so much could AI do our specific job of like, is it capable? Yeah. No, it's more than capable. Like I look but at it's like not the, the human the clients we work with. Yes. And I think if I was calling in or, you know, emailing or doing whatever to get assistance on something, would I want you would I want to be just talking to AI? Gotcha. No. No. I, I no. Because there's going to be certain... While we've talked about that, like, you know, um, sometimes you can be personable, sometimes you can't be, depending on who you're talking to and depending on how the conversation's going. If it's AI, it's not going to be personable. And I will tell you right now, uh, I had an issue with Walmart uh, recently where I kept calling and I kept getting... I'm 99% sure it was fucking AI. <laughs> like... Yeah. It, there's and then I went into the them. chat and it felt like AI. And it was always the same... Fu different name every time but the same script they were giving me yeah and i never got my issue solved i never got my issue solved i just ended up having to like i had pre-ordered an item and then i was like oh i don't need it and i canceled it and they still fucking shipped it and charged me even though it said it like the chat thing it told me five times that it was canceled but it didn't show canceled my mm -hmm. account day came of when it came out got sent to me and i was pissed because i'm like I fucking, I literally have screenshots of it saying, and I finally got in touch with someone. And they're like, yeah, that's a glitch. I'm like, that's a pretty fucking big glitch. Imagine, yeah. I was like, imagine I had bills that day yeah. and I couldn't afford this and it got taken out. And they're like, well, you can just go return it. I'm like, but now I have to go to the store and fucking return it. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I, I think AI again, 
for good and for worse can be put into that. But in the end of the day, you still have to work with human. I don't care how limitless it is. If it's Westworld style, then that's fucking scary as shit to where you can't tell who's an AI and who's a yeah, robot and who's do you not. Think it, do you think it would... If it goes untamed, they just let like let's just say AI just runs. Mm-hmm. Do you think it could? We would actually. Do you think it's possible we would live in a world like that, or in a reality like that? Um. Do I? Ah, uh, I mean, if Bigfoot's there. I'm sorry. It, you know what I'm talking about. If if Bigfoot. I think in a world where that can be developed, I think Bigfoot would come into it. Do you get what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Think just, about it. Dude, had, if I could throw Bigfoot. Dude, those. if I could make an AI robot, I'd make him look like Bigfoot. If they gave you a company approached you and said, We will give you your own Bigfoot. AI robot. Mm-hmm. Would you buy it? How much? I'd think about it, but it depends how much. Oh, so you'd actually put into consideration? Yeah. <laughs> how much money would you be willing to spend? Thousand dollars. Sorry. Okay, that's fine then. So you don't love Bigfoot as much as you say you do. That's how I can afford, man. Uh, you know what? I'd probably break in and steal it. Oh, no. What I want something they, better. I want something better than Bigfoot. I want Jar Jar Binks as an AI. Okay. But. 10000 It's costing you left leg. Yeah, that's fine. He can carry me. Okay. 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 Cool. Happy we settled that. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, I don't know. What do you think? Do you, do you feel like AI can be terrifying? Do you think it can be used? Do you agree with me? What? Is this something we're actually going to agree on? Um. Disagree. It doesn't matter, realistically. Yeah. Me personally, I think we're. I think it's going to go one or two ways. Mm-hmm. I think either option A, it's going to go like how Cyberpunk is. Mm-hmm. You're going to have some rogue AI, and then you're just going to have to have AI behind a black wall, a firewall mm-hmm. that could do really terrible damage, almost like. AI becomes almost a terroristic aspect and they have to be like, you have multiple copies of it or, um, and we keep it in check or I think we go the same way we're doing when. Mm, okay. Where it got too out of hand and all advanced technology completely got destroyed and it was agreed upon that we can't go that route because it's too powerful. It's terrifying to think of like it's terrifying like uh terminator really is a horror film well the first one's always been a horror film yeah. but the entire thing i robot is a horror film <laughs> yes it's a mystery horror movie so um it's terrifying now i'm really curious to see how like gaming people start using it, like video game developers and if like that can actually help their cycle like again there's pros and cons to it um it's more of a Let's see where it is in six months. Let's see where it's at in another six months. Where is it at? To the public eye. You know what I mean? Because I don't know what's behind fucking closed doors at fucking Google. I think, what, we're at chat GPT-4? Maybe. And I even just saw a clip uh, the other day, and it was talking about how it currently right now, if you tell it to say... um, a certain word, I can't remember which word, but like over, like say some word over and over again, it'll say it, but eventually at some point, and it's not every time, but very prominent, it will start, sna- like it'll snap. Hmm. And then it'll like start just rambling, like it's, it's you know, I got like, the, I, like I'm, uh, I'm I, tired or yeah. something like that. I got the Snapchat AI thing to be pissed at me. Did you really? Yeah. See, that's kind of crazy. Like, I was just like, and um, I was like, give me even... YouTube title. Like, I just wanted to see. Yeah. Give me YouTube titles for this that are C- SEO uh, optimized. And it would be like, give me, I was like, give me more. Give me more. More. Give me more. Dude, more. I literally, like, literally the <laughs> Kylo Ren meme. I kept saying that. And uh, it got to the point where it was like, I'm done. I'm like, okay. Wow. 
So, uh, it's fucking wild, man. I'm um, curious. Yeah. See where he yeah. Goes. Now I know we're heading up to an hour and I don't want to keep this going on and I definitely want to talk about call of duty. So I'm actually, uh, okay. I want to say, I think right, next right, episode right, we got to talk about call of duty. No, no, no. no I want to yeah. get into like a full on fucking 30 minute discussion on it. I think remember, do you remember that notes thing that we have? We still have it. I still have it. At least the history of call of duty. Yeah. Where we die. I think we should talk about that next week or okay. next month. I don't know if I still have it. I do. If you still have it. Then, I still have okay. it. Where we talk about like the entire where is that franchise and what happened to it yeah, and how yeah, they can yeah. get better. I think that would be a really good thing. I started thinking about that right now. I was like, I don't want to rush through that. And that's such like, there's so much to that uh, franchise that like I would like to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the future, and like our core memories of it. I okay, mean, Tyler, we have like 400 hours in Black Ops Three. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know you didn't talk about you didn't talk about destiny uh yeah. did you beat it yeah what do you think of the story looked cool i watched the i watched the cutscenes. it looked cool 10 year run for yeah. a video game it's like i even told you it's like 10 years i'm like i'm not even excited when they announced it mm-hmm. like i play video games when i can yeah i was like okay Just kept on like they i mean as you know you you're in the whole space of yeah. those video games. There's a lot of bullshit that happened with that company. Mm. A lot of bullshit. That'd be a good episode too, to talk about Bungie. That'd be interesting. That'd actually be really cool. Um, and then they started doing things from like a community standpoint. Of like doing things that from a community has been asking for a very long time. Like, oh yeah, we're doing it. Mm-hmm. It's like, whoa. Like we've been asking for like different things for like years. Yeah. And then finally it's happening. And I already kind of got my interest i'm like okay mm-hmm. and then they started announcing different types of like events going on before like leading up to the launch mm-hmm. i was like this looks okay i'm i'm looking forward to this now i was already looking forward to this i was going to play because after yeah. 10 years i need to see how that story ends and what they have planned i'm curious and i would say they pulled it off after a 10 year run wrapping up a story that's been going on and you've been building up yeah. To this final conclusion of they say this chapter of the whole universe and the whole game. They did a really good job. Yeah. I was really impressed. I was not Are you still gonna keep playing it, the grind, or you think you're a little over? Um, they actually announced something earlier today mm-hmm. and show it's like, Hey, this is basically what we have planned for the perceived future. Okay, until the next one. I'm yeah, because they they said that they're making a third one. Um, I'll definitely be sticking around. I was actually surprised okay. what they have planned. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I like to hear that because that, uh, I know we just jumped off COD, but they just announced that like all your shit's not moving to six to Black Ops six, but it'll stay in Warzone and stuff. Uh-huh. Which I assumed, which is why I didn't buy a single fucking thing this entire cycle. Yeah. Um, but honestly, like I think that's a good thing for them. They need to restart. They need to just be like, this is a fucking separate thing. And Destiny, you and me have talked about this. I think there's pros and cons to starting over, and I think there's pros there's pros and cons to not starting over. But I think they should, and I think whatever you end up putting into it, you should be able to bring for the most part, whether it's cosmetic or not. Well, like, it's actually one thing where I've my biggest one of my one of my gripes with Call of Duty is yeah. like, why well, I just don't care about that franchise anymore. And just even video games in general, it's just mm-hmm. like, eh. like Call of Duty specifically, because that's a huge one. I don't like the fact that you can't like, there's no way to say like, I've been playing, you know, mm-hmm. X, you know, since this Call of Duty and I have something to show that like I've been here in game since like the beginning. That's kind of cool. Be like, oh, that person deserves some, co- some kind yeah, of respect that'd be in the cool. video yeah, game yeah. realm. But if that really yeah. matters in that whole kind of thing. But just a way to show it's like, I've been here for a while. Destiny, I, don't, I'm, I, I well, just say Destiny because that's the one I can I, on the top of a discussion. Mm-hmm. There's different things that it's like, oh damn, this guy, this player has been here for a long time. That's kind of cool. And same thing with Fortnite, I would think too. There's certain skins, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just have the skins, you can't get them anymore. Yeah, so like that's cool to almost like I know. Uh, I rep my Mando and Grogu all the time because I'm go. like, you can only get it in one season, and that was it. So that's that's. That's where I enjoy it because I, like, w- I will say for COD, kind of like, hey, give, give me my respect. Yeah. I've been here for a minute. <laughs> I think all I think all skins should move forward. It's the guns that I don't think. Oh, absolutely! Like I, skins, 
if you like even destiny like those skins you buy in the yeah. shop those should all move forward yeah anything there's some cosmetic that, yeah. should always move forward and if i was bungie i don't know what engine they do i don't even know what engine destiny 2 is on um but um it's their proprietary it's, engine. yeah but if i were them if i'm building a new engine i just move the game and bring all the care you know what i mean like yeah Fortnite does it. A lot of other studios do it. The Gears of War did it. Like they just pick it up and move it. The like, one, what they should, no, what they should do, from a COD standpoint, mm-hmm. is that any mastery camo. Yeah, that's the one thing that will transfer over. Yeah, that, that would, would yeah, or that like would be for cool. sure, or some yeah. stuff that you actually pay for, so you're not yeah. wasting money. Which mm-hmm. is again why I think it's such a like it sucks. Like you're gonna pay so much money. Yeah. And there's no way for you to transfer any of that over. It's just mm-hmm. for one year. Um, you don't get any like of that they only put it in Warzone, back. which then I get then tries to make people play Warzone, yeah. which I don't I don't care for. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's, were, it's a company yeah. thing. You know what would be and this is God. Now we're getting to Call of Duty. I have to say this because I I know we're I, I'm gonna forget if I'm gonna never fucking mention it again. If I were Call of Duty, you know what I would do? Mm. The second you move on to a new game, that's you buying into that game's multiplayer, right? Maps, guns, all that. After that two-year cycle, because it should be a two-year cycle, they move all that to a free-to-play Call of Duty, where at that point in time, you can jump into that free-to-play. You can level up your Battle Pass, whatever, but you're playing on all the old maps cycled through. There's playlists of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, uh, whatever. All the skins, guns are over there. It's a fucking free-for-all. You can do Warzone, you can do Team Deathmatch, it does not matter. That'd be a smart idea, because then it's like, okay, if you want to play... The new stuff, you play it there. Zombies, all that. Everything else moves over to there. It's a free-to-play thing where if you want to pay for this shit, you mm. can. If you're not, if you're poor, then you don't. Like, my sister plays fucking Fortnite. She doesn't buy skins. She just plays it. Well, yeah. she's bought a couple, but like, uh, yeah, it's wild. End this podcast. I got to ask you to do something on your phone. Okay. Open your YouTube app. You're going to open a couple things for me. We need to check because we're teaching the audience something here too. Okay. All right. YouTube's up. Do you know where we're going? No. Go to the Into the Geek Verse YouTube page. Are you following it? Because we want all the audience to make sure to follow it as well if you're just listening to us on audio. I actually don't think so. <gasps> Subscribe to it, Tyler. Did it come up? Yeah, yes, it did. All right, I'm subscribed now. Perfect. There we go. Now go to Spotify. You follow our Spotify page? Oh, damn. You're going to get me. Oh, I'm, I, I, I did it to Phil, and damn. I'm going to doing it to you. I'm catching everybody who's not <laughs> following us. If you if you are a friend of ours, and, and you can go home and do this to George, too. You can do this to any one of our friends you see. If they are not following this shit, they ain't our friend. That's fair. That's okay. Fair. And then you're going to do it on Apple as well. So everyone, okay. please oh, no, make sure subscribe. to go follow on Spotify, YouTube, Apple. This is Rest Stop Rambles. This is on the End of the Geek vs. Zach Poe podcast feed. And me and Tyler just rambled for about an hour and four minutes about... It's a nice little ramble. About a lot. Uh, oh, so huge. I think next time we're going to talk about Call of Duty, uh, the history of it, ramble on a lot about our memories, and probably talk about other things that come up. <laughs> So oh, for sure. There's a lot. I mean, if we're going down the whole history of it, there is a lot to talk about and there could be a lot of yeah. sides. Didn't that's, we have one on GTA too? I think we had one on Grand Theft we Auto too. We were starting to. Maybe, yeah. I think we were having yeah. some ideas, but yeah. we're going to have to flush. I mean, there's a lot of fucking, yeah. there's a lot of, yeah. a lot of history with Call of Duty. Yeah. That's going to be a long episode. Which is going to be cool. I think it'll be cool to do, especially because I feel like we've played... I mean, it's been around for a majority of our lives. At least the peak. We lived through the peak of it, right? We played we, through we the def- peak of it. We definitely played through the peak of it. I want to. Where do you think it peaked? I want to say Black Ops Three. I think that's where it peaked at, personally. Like that whole era, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Four, or Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare to Black Ops Three, I think was like that whole thing right there. Yearly releases was like peak. I'd have to go back through Mm -hmm. like the timeline and Mm -hmm. I could give you a a timeline, but I want to say around black ops one. Okay. Black ops two. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Three. Yeah. There's a stretch where it was just like year after year. Yeah. Banger after banger after banger. Well, man, that's where we're going to say goodbye. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Make sure again to like subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. If you do, I will give you a cookie. Have a great rest of your day. (laughs) 